Ah, man. I, I still can't believe it. Like, the static shiv. He lost 900 gold, mate. Just like that. Yeah. Look at this. Hey! What? Oh, that's so painful, man. My man had to sell. He lost 900 Gs, baby. Why do you have to sell it? Because there's some. it was disabled. It was not allowed. You weren't allowed to buy it. We don't know the exact reasons why. All right. So this is from Ashley Kang. We received an official statement from Riot Korea regarding the KT vs Genji pause. We noticed the LCK teams that we, we notified the LCK teams that Static Shift is disallowed twice, March 30th and July 2nd. So as mentioned, right? Uh, you you get a bug list. If you're competing, you get a bug list. If you utilize any of those bugs, you get headshotted. After aiming both Static Suite V in Game Two of KT vs Gen, a pause was initiated. While there is no specific guidelines on follow-ups to buying disallowed items, the SK referee decided that the resolution for the situation should be that aiming sells a static shiv. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> that is fucked, by the way. You 100% chrono break, by the way. You have to chrono break. This is a mess, man. You get headshotted for 900 gold in the game? There were disagreements towards the decision and the delays were extended. Of course there's disagreements. You, you lose 1k gold in the head? We also received a statement from Hirai, the head coach of KT Rollster on the pause situation. There was a period of time between aiming, buying static shiv and the referee pausing the game. And additionally, penalty aiming selling static shiv was discussed by the LCK referee, which may be considered a double penalty. Double pen penalty? Ref should catch it instantly as he's walking off or still in the fountain in the pause. Additionally, the item doesn't cause the bugs since the bug apparently only happens with Renata in game. This should be brought up. Ridiculous ruling, IMO. Just fine aiming but don't alter game, IMO. Well, that's the thing, right? First and foremost, I don't want to assume that the static shift bug is the Renata bug. We don't know. There maybe there's an additional bug. So that's first, okay? The bugs that pro teams, the bugged pro list that teams get is not public. We see, we get to know bugs that the public doesn't know about. Because if they were in the public, they would be abused by the public because they can't control it. But on stage, they can control it. So that's first. Second, I completely agree that refs should catch it. But I'm telling you guys, the people that are refereeing most play most people that are refereeing they don't know much about the game most people that are refereeing don't know so much about the game and to be fair to be fair the window to spot someone to spot someone static shivving right it's a very narrow window you know it's a very narrow window refs don't know the game it makes sense but why why do you guys think that the pauses are like 50 minutes long whenever something appears Bro, they have to pull up LOL Wiki, man. They have to pull up LOL Wiki. It's like Riot doesn't even know half of the bugs that occur in the game. They're pulling up LOL Wiki. They're checking if the interaction is real or not, bro. That's why the pauses are so damn long. Uh, like, I'm serious. And there are definitely referees that know more than others. But the whole issue, right, is you can't expect the players to keep track of every bug and every interaction. And, sure, you can expect that from referees, but it's kind of hard. They were informed not to buy the item. They were informed not to buy the item. We don't know what the bug is. That's the thing. We don't know what the bug is. We don't know. The pro teams know, but we don't know. Obviously, I agree. If this is only Renata related, then it's fucking stupid. But, if the bug has been recreated without Renata, which I can be the case can be the case then you know we don't know it is kind of stupid